Yes. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Jason from uh, Biomathematics uh, Department. So today I want to present a project uh, I'm working on with my advisor, Professor Yu Benzhen, and also uh, Professor Vasilevich and Professor Simon, and also my IPS colleague. So uh, this uh, this project is motivated by the molecular dynamics simulation. As you may know, molecular dynamics is proven to be very useful in, uh, for example, exploring some biological uh, structures or some biological process. But um, you will need three things to uh, run the molecular dynamics simulation. First thing, you have to know the structure you'll be working on and also the positions. Second thing is the physics laws and the governing functions to run the simulation. And the third thing, of course, you will need a very powerful machine, a computer to run it. However, even for a supercomputer like CIVO, ISS, and also even the most powerful machines in the world, this is still a very challenging um, task because it will take a lot of time to run the uh, simulations in order to get a longer time scales to, to see what you want to see. So here that motivated us, uh, motivate us to present some methods to accelerate this process. For example, the conventional way is people are using some all atomic models, which I list a few examples here, like small proteins, uh, even to some larger proteins, which has uh, more than um, 40,000 atoms to compose this, uh, this model. And then uh, for the first thing is, we want to pr uh, present this model by some cost screen uh, models. For example, when we use a, a group, of, we represent a group of particles with only one particle in the center of mass. So that can reduce the dimensions by a very large uh, magnitude. And, but then the question comes, for all atomic models, we know some well-known um, force field like ch uh, charm or like amber. So we can know how to run the simulations by the governing function and parameters. But for the cost models, we don't know that because we pr propose it models by ourselves. So the, uh, the question becomes, how can we uh, extract the force field parameters and how can we uh, parameterize in the governing functions in order to run the cost model? So here, we propose some method uh, called physics informed neural networks. And basically what we are doing is we take some training data from the all atomic models, and then we map that to the cost screen models and then use neural networks to train the model uh, in order to get the for, uh, force field parameters to run the cost screen uh, methods. And our goal is two part, one is fast and the second thing is accurate. We don't want to run something which is uh, totally unphysical and didn't have any meanings. So uh, here are some accuracy comparisons with some of the uh, uh, state-of-the-art methods uh, also using machine learning. So you can see our method, what we want is we want to not only restore the structure detail, for example, the radio distribution functions, and also some free energy comparisons with the distributions. Uh, so you can see between the all atomic simulations and all our uh, clustering simulations, we can restore some of the structure details so that we can um, uh, not only reduce the simulation time from uh, only a few nanoseconds per day to uh, to set 10 to the power of force magnitude um, uh, speed up so that uh, we can we can just try to find something which we can now see using the all atomic models. And right now what we are doing is we are trying to reduce the training data because we know in order to train this model, we will need a lot of um, time to run the training set to get what we, uh, what we, can, we can extract the, uh, uh, the first wave parameter. So that what we are trying to do is to improve this part by using something, for example, the transformers, like the, uh, with the attention base to learn some particular bounds or angles so that we can, uh, we can reduce the uh, training set and also the time to run the, uh, to generate the training set. And that will be all, thank you. Yeah, that, um, that's a very good question. So we have some algorithms for, uh, for, for example, this one, we, we use the shape-based cost screening method. For example, uh, we can have some um, um, different uh, mapping uh, algorithms, but all we, uh, the goal is we only need a few particles which can uh, have some, uh, for example, from, from some very important function domains like this one. Uh, we, we just need to keep the structures as the same as the all atomic models, and that will be uh, because whatever uh, cost model you propose, you will have a force field who govern that uh, cost screen models. So that um, uh, this algorithm is the uh, is a conventional algorithm without any machine learning, but it's it's proven to be very useful. And uh, 
our remaining question is how to parametrize in the cost model. Yeah. So you use the existing. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. So when solving these, uh, uh, when solving for the dynamic force in the sense, how do you impose boundary conditions? Oh, that's very good. So uh, because we have all the time models and then we know, for example, the uh, periodical boundary condition on the box to simulate the, the simulations, so that we, when we map that to the cosmic models, we basically remain the same uh, physical conditions as well. So, uh, yeah. Periodic yes, yes. Okay. Any other question? Yeah, sure. Sorry. No, no, no problem. We have two figures of two sculptures on the left and on the right. Is it the same? Yeah, yeah, that's three examples I showed. This one is called Chimuli. That's a very small protein with only like uh, several hundred particles. And that's we map to a 10 particle model. And that's a SARS protein, uh, SARS COVID 2 S protein. And we map that to a 60 particles. It's like, this one? Has, no, the second one, it mm -hmm. has like thousands, and the one on the right has like several hundred. That's one, that's only 60. So three chains and 20. Okay, which method do you? Uh, that's what I call the shake based cost screening. So that we will get that from the first range to all items. Yeah, that's a very good question. So that's something we we which one to do, but that's a separate project because that's called decosting. And basically you will have infinity possibility possibilities to map from the cost screening yeah. back to the or atomic. So um that's yet another very challenging uh thing, but uh that's our pipeline. So that's what we're trying to do in the next and yeah. Thank you.